Hi, I'm Ben Faber, Farm Advisor here in Ventura, Santa Barbara Counties. In this video, I'll show you how to monitor for mites in avocado orchards. Mites damage avocado trees by removing chlorophyll from the leaves during feeding. This eventually defoliates the tree, exposes the bark and fruit to excess sunlight, increases sunburn damage, and reduces yields. Perseamite is a key pest of avocados and is present in nearly all of the avocado growing regions of California. Other mites, such as avocado brown mite and six-spotted mite, are only found sporadically, uh, though they still have the potential to cause damage. Look for avocado brown mite and six-spotted mite damage while you monitor for Persea mites to make sure that they are not causing an unacceptable amount of damage. Persea mites feed on the leaf undersides, along the midrib and the veins. They often occur in colonies beneath dense spots of protective webbing, sometimes called their nests. Perseamite feeding causes circular, yellow or brown spots to form on the underside of the leaf. Up close, the mites themselves have two or more dark blotches on their bodies. Six spotted mites look very similar to Perseamites, but have exactly six dark blotches on their bodies. They also feed on the leaf undersides and prefer to feed next to the midrib and large veins. But unlike Perseamites, Damage from six-spotted mites consists of irregularly shaped or continuous purple blotches along the veins. Avocado brown mite feeds on the upper side of leaves, but may also be found on the bottom of the leaves in more severe situations. Their feeding causes the upper surface of the leaf to turn dark bronze, which is strikingly different from the bright green color of healthy leaves. There are also several species of predatory mites in avocado, that can reduce mite numbers and therefore the need to apply miticides. These mites are shinier and more pear-shaped than the pest mites, and they do not have dark blotches on their bodies. To make appropriate management decisions, pay attention to predatory mites during monitoring and be careful not to count them as pests. Start monitoring for mites in mid-March and monitor every few weeks through at least August. Persea mites usually reach their highest numbers in July or August, but in some cases, they don't decline until October. When sampling, follow these steps. First, divide your avocado orchard into blocks or areas with similar conditions. Perseamite infestations can vary drastically in different parts of the orchard, so this will help you more accurately determine both how numerous they are and where they require management. Second, randomly turn over 10 to 20 leaves in each block. To reduce bias toward any part of the block, sample from trees that are at least four trees apart from each other. Examine fully developed leathery leaves from the current season and avoid leaves that still have their reddish tint. Perseamites tend not to be present on these leaves. When you turn over the leaf, look for perseamite nests. In the light, these nests will be silver and reflective. If you see one or more shiny nests on the leaf, count that leaf as having mites. Record your observations and use your records to make management decisions. Keep in mind that mite numbers may rapidly decline if humidity is low and daytime temperatures are more than 90 degrees for several days. Take this into consideration when developing your monitoring and management plan. Under these conditions, per se, a mite becomes less of a problem, especially on mature trees. Base your management decisions on your past experience, the overall health and age of each tree, and the time of year. Refer to the UCIPM Avocado Pest Management Guidelines for more information.